Peggy 18. My name is Mike Burkhead. I'm a senior designer here at NetherRealm Studios. The Challenge Tower is 300 missions where we really wanted to challenge the player's mastery of different mechanics in the game while also challenging their dedication to sticking with it. When we initially started talking about the Challenge Tower and what we wanted for it, we wanted it to be far more than, than just the uh, missions just based on training the character. We really wanted to make each mission stand on its own and make it interesting so the player is kind of like, oh, I wonder what's coming up next. We wanted to make sure that we stayed true to the core of why people love this game, which is, I beat the shit out of you and then I rip your head off. And that is really why everyone loves Mortal Kombat, is, is the combat, and so the Challenge Tower is focused on that. What we did is we started off by uh, exposing the, the fight engine and the capabilities of our, of our normal fight engine in different ways such that we could create a variety of missions. Throughout the Challenge Tower, we have different mini games that you can play. There's Test Your Might, Test Your Sight, Test Your Strike, and then we also have a new one now called Test Your Luck. Initially, it was just this, this idea where you'd have these, these like slot reels that would, as they would come up, they would randomly pick different modifiers, who you would fight, who you would be, and these modifiers were just exposed elements like you know, flip the screen upside down, double damage, and what happened is, when we implemented this, people were so excited about it that it actually, it ended up spawning off its own separate mode in the game. Sometimes it was fun stuff, you know, some kind of humorous, like there's a mission where Molina made a teddy bear and she's trying to give it to Scorpion and he doesn't want it, and so you fight. We had the, this concept of our shooting gallery missions, and you're fighting against a seemingly infinite amount of enemies. And like our normal fight engine, it's you know two v two maximum. But in this case, we had to support as many as six different characters. My favorite mission in the tower is one called Orange. You glad I came, and it's you play as Scorpion and Sub Zero versus a certain boss character. And he starts out orange, and he starts flipping colors between orange and blue. And you can only damage him when he's orange as Scorpion, and when he's blue, you can only damage him as Sub Zero. And then of course. If you make it all the way to Challenge 300, there's going to be a major reward for you to get to get that far. It'd be very difficult to get, but it's very worth it. One of the things that I'm really excited about is is that with the Challenge Tower, and I want to throw this out to everybody, the top of the ladder is one of the hardest levels you're going to fight, one of the hardest challenges. I can't wait to see one of our serious, hardcore, super awesome MK fighter fans go in there, play the last mission and beat it. Beat it with one try, one character, full life bar. I want to see that up on YouTube. I want to see somebody pull that off. It's going to be hard, and I think there's going to be somebody that can pull that out. The name of the mission is Endgame, and I can't wait to see what happens with that.